man on about you? All good, I hope. <laughs> well, gosh, this place looks great. Yeah, except for where they seated us. Oh, no, this is gonna be fine. Yeah, you know why they sat us by the waiter station, don't you? Oh, I, I just think they're real busy. <laughs> it's because of me. Come again? Please, Cynthia, you're not that naive. Look at me, isn't it obvious? I'm an octoroon. A what? I'm an octoroon. I'm one-eighth African-American. My great-grandfather was black. Ah, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought you might react this way. What, react like what? I, it doesn't matter to me at all what you are. I'm sorry. I, I just get a little touchy about it sometimes, that's all. It's okay. It's all right. Good evening. Hi. Our specials tonight include a broiled swordfish in a mandalay sauce. That's a light cream and dill dressing. Don't you think I know what a mandalay sauce is? <laughs> <laughs> you just assume from my appearance things have to be boiled down to simplest terms, don't you? I bet you don't do that for all your white customers. Blair, please. No, sir, actually, I do it for all the customers. We'll have the swordfish mandalays for two. Do us a favor and don't spit in it, please. Very good, sir. I'll tell the chef. No spit. Blair, that was incredibly rude. Rude? Rude? To be bought and sold like an animal, that's rude. Yeah, yeah. To be chained up and dragged away from your village and forced to pick cotton. Don't talk to me about rude. I, I don't know. I think you're just being a little bit ridiculous. I... I'm sorry. Look, you're right. I, I, I want this to be a nice evening. It's just I've had such a bad day, you know? Yet another job interview gone sour. Oh, uh, really? What happened? What happened? What always happens to the partially black man? He <laughs> turned me down. Said it was because of my attitude and I didn't have the degree for biomedical research. <laughs> Everybody knows that's just code for octoroon on the premises. Run for your lives. <laughs> Ah, yes. You know how it is, my African brother. Fight the power, million man march. I beg your pardon? I bet they've kept you here for years in this menial position, supporting a family of eight as a bus boy. No, they haven't. I'm putting myself through law school. Oh, really? Where? At Oreo University? So you can become another tool for the white man's injustice system? Whatever. Sell out. I, I think that you're taking this octoroon thing a little bit too far. I mean, I, I don't think that anyone would ever suspect that you're any part black. I am fiercely oh, proud of my okay. African-American okay. heritage. Blair, people are staring at us now. Ah, let them stare. Come on, everybody. Gawk at the eighth breed. That's right. <laughs> Want to rub my nappy head for luck? Oh. You better rub it eight times so you get the same amount of luck you get from a normal black man. Oh, uh, sure, there's a song for half breeds, but not for us octoroons. <laughs> Octoroon Nation! Okay, okay. Octoroon okay, okay, okay. You know what, Blair? You're crazy. Please do not call me. Well, well, just as I expected, my mother always told me stay within your own kind. Quadroons are mulattoes only. That's all right, because you'll be coming back, baby. You know what they say, once you've had octoroon, you'll be wanting more soon. <laughs> Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh, of course. Someone speaks the truth and it's bug off buckwheat. Well, that's fine, I'm going. But I'm reporting you to the Anti-Octoroon Defamation League. They'll sue you for one-eighth of everything you've got. And furthermore, I'm gonna find all the other octoroons in this city and they're gonna boycott this racist establishment. It may take me decades, but I'll find them. Goodbye. <laughs>